Welcome back. Today, I want to talk about kind of disrupting your career path and specifically whether you are a student going into what's called the real world, the world where you get paid for your time as opposed to kind of you in the school system paying to be there or you're a professional and you would like to go into the next phase of your career, your progress, your profession, or maybe something of complete hop. So that's what we're going to cover today. Remember, this is about creating our best self. Um, you know, myself, I have reinvented over and over again. But specifically, what I'm going to share today is what I work with individuals on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Specifically, people that want to enter into the world of a new a profession or whatnot and trying to figure out how do they do it. And I'm going to cover a couple key aspects that will make it possible for you faster and easier and doing exactly what you're already doing. So let's get started. And again, if any of this is valuable, please subscribe. I'm going to cover tons of stuff, everything from personal mindfulness, you know, health to you know, obviously career, technology, all the things that will make you the best you. So number one, you are basically every day doing projects and work whether you're at school or whether you're at a current employer. And in those moments, as you are doing a task, a project, let's say you're in uh, computer science or you're in a design school, I want you to record those bullets into your LinkedIn profile. And specifically, you're a student of design, you're a student of artificial intelligence, wh whatever you're doing, I want you to make bullets for every project, homework assignment you turn in. I want you to then make bullets for every extracurricular project or effort you do that aligns to that type of skill. So if you sign up for AWS to make an Alexa app or program one like I did, you should write that on your resume. Made an Alexa app and launched it. Um, I took a pen penetration testing course. Great. What did you penetration test? Oh, I penetration tested applications on iOS and I did databases. Write that down. What I don't want you to write the project title. I don't care about the professor. Um, I probably really don't care about you know, the institution that's hosting it. What is important here and the essence of what we're trying to do on these bullets as a student is to articulate exactly what is what we're doing. Like what is the action that you did and you want to record that. And what's powerful about this is as you're going through semesters, slowly but surely this list is going to get longer. And you're going to be able to look back six months, 12 months, two years, four years, and you're going to see all the extra work you did, all the you know, personal projects, the side work you did for, uh, for, for friends, family. What you're doing is you're creating a portfolio of experience because when you're in the institution of universities, two-year degree programs or anything. As a company, you completed courses, but you have no experience. And it's the reality, right? I don't know what you can do, but by writing the bullets down every time you complete something and articulate precisely what platform or what you're doing and are clear, suddenly you have a portfolio that shows exactly what you can do because you've done it. Now, here's the beautiful part. As you're looking for a new job, as you're graduating, I want you to delete the bullets of anything you hated. If you didn't like it, you just got it done to get it done. Maybe you tried a bunch of different side projects and one was great and the other were horrendous. Great. Remove the horrendous ones. Now what you've done is you've consolidated down what you like to do, can do, and removed the things that you hate. So now you're better attuned as a team member who can join a team because as the hiring manager, and I've hired many, many individuals for different levels of jobs, I need to know what you can do to fit in my group, right? Maybe I need a complete um, independent thinker. Maybe I need somebody that can program. Maybe I need somebody who has worked in iOS applications or has designed rooms. Those are the skills that I'm looking for. And if your LinkedIn profile, your resume shows that, tells me that story, now I can see exactly how you can be a part of my team. That is a key 
action I need you to take if you're looking to move into an organization. Again, I don't know what you learned in your university or on your own. I need to see it and see how that can fit into what the problem I'm trying to solve as a hiring manager. Now, let's change gears. Let's say you're currently employed. You're loving it. You're having a great time. But you want to evolve. You want to do the next thing. Same skill. Do projects. Write bullets out. Do side work. Do um, non-billable work. Do work for fun. Experiment. Work with people. Do all of these things. And then consolidate it down. And make sure you only articulate the things that you would love to do. Now, there's that's all we're going to do. That's how we're going to get the new job we want. Now, there's two parts here. One, we're doing it because we're creating a new sense of a skill sets. We're presenting that to the world. And I'm saying LinkedIn, you can put it on many different places. But number two, we are actually also kind of training ourselves for this new role, right? And that's something we forget. We want that role over there, that job. We think we're old enough, we're senior enough, we should get it. But the honest truth is, is you, you don't have the skills yet. You haven't learned them. That's why we, we, we ratchet into different roles based on experience. So by taking this method and applying it, first off, you get the training you need. Secondly, you're communicating the capabilities you have to move into those new roles. And thirdly, from a search engine optimization, SEO, if I'm searching on LinkedIn or online for people that can do this job, suddenly you have all the keywords I need. So I'm finding you and you're getting the offers. So I hope this helps. I'm trying to get into a, a job, a startup, a, an enterprise, a consulting company is hard to do. There are many people that would like to work in those places and there's not many positions. And the reason is, is because it's such a good place to work that they really want people that are deep in the experience and show a passion. By you doing this extra work for yourself, your own benefit, your own curiosity, you are showing to the world that you want to do more. You want to continue to grow. Right? We're not doing this for marks. We're doing this because we're trying to get better at something. And that's what you need to remember. Your behavior of adding these bullets, of taking intentional um, classes, exploring, non-billable work to be better at a craft where you are interested and excited about, that speaks hugely from a culture point of view and somebody I definitely want on my team. So I wish you the best of luck. If you have any questions, Added to the comments, happy to share. Um, have had the privilege of really working with a lot of, frankly, young and old, depending on where they are in their career, on using this technique. And um, I think that's going to really work for you. So have an amazing day. Thank you so much for all you do. And every question you ask, I really see it and appreciate it. Thank you so much.